Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, because we don't know what time you're watching this, but it's 7 a.m. Yes, yeah, definitely. So good morning. It's a good morning. Good morning. <laughs> no, the morning smiling. <laughs> anyway, we're mm -hmm. at church, which explains the joy. I'm it from is... having coffee, literally. Mine is good. <laughs> I'm hungry, coffee. bro. <laughs> Anyway, I was gonna say something. We're now I forgot. Coffee. Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> this is what I was gonna say. I uh -huh. forgot. We're at the Ocean Church, so if you're looking for a home church or if you're visiting Dar for the first time, ignore ocean my hair, which looks very home. random right hey, now. Bro. Nobody cares, but the ocean should be your home. Don't miss out. <laughs> yeah, you should definitely come visit. Um, what else was I gonna say? Services. Services are from. Eh? There's a service at. Uh, there's three services. One's at 8 a.m. One's at. 9.30 a.m. and that was at 11.30 a.m. So plenty of options for you. Um, we love people, we love Jesus, we love the word, we love worship. You're gonna love it here. So you're very welcome. Are you all excited for baptism? Yes, yeah, we are. Takes us one minute, we can't handle the sun. We are sorry. You need my glasses. It's fine, ma'am. We apologize for the heat of that. My face is looking kawaii. You are not looking. I can't. That is kawaii. When our skin is glowing like that, guys, levels, levels in this life. Because of your profession of faith today in Jesus Christ, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But the boy! Notice. Look at Joe's outfit today. No, not even Joe. Look at Dorothy's outfit. Texas is Dogo! Our outfit is fine. Guys, this is healthy. Dear Tanzanian men, do you understand? <laughs> so shocked, he's the I'm same age with you. I'm 25. Turn 25. John, come tell the people how old you are. Right now, before your birthday, how old, how old that? Come here, baby. Come. <laughs> tell the people. Uh, yeah. You guys have seen me. Mm -hmm. You've seen me. Guess guess my age. You've seen me a lot in this How old do you think I am? What? Melody, so how do you think I am? Ah! Yeah! <laughs> no, I love you, bro. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh. I don't think I got it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> it just does not stop. <laughs> another one. There's another one. Sunning, I am completely blaming this on um, Debbie. That's the one I choose to blame. But everyone else is involved. <laughs> we went to Eno's. Uh, it's after service, by the way. We went to Eno's. Everything was fine. We're going to drive to go get food. But guess what? They all suggested that we go. We walk to this place to eat. Will it work out? Yes. But okay. the sun. Debbie, do you see this? If I get sunburned, <laughs> it's you. My skin is glowing. Oh, but yes, my skin is glowing. Yeah, it's <laughs> The world that Alice is missing content. You are missing content. See what Uganda dynamics is, and I was out here telling people that this is your fault. Me walking in the sun. Forget sun, but it's your fault. I told her to carry the cab. Do you want the chipsy angle? Okay. Chipsy angle, no da. Guys, my 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 friends don't love me. Did anybody order food for me? No, why? My friends don't love me. Bob. Guys, if you have friends who order food for you, we would have gone back and friends don't love you. Go get it yourself. I know, imagine them coming back with food and then not having my food. No, I did say I'm coming though, so I knew I would come. 
Yeah, that's almost the end of the video. Um, it was a very fun day. It was a very wholesome day. And to end the video and the series is that I don't know what you're waiting on God for. I don't know what um, what what you've been praying for. Um, but all this this whole series and even this video was to encourage you to one um, wait on God the right way in the right posture. And for this one in particular was wait on God with the right people. Um, there is something so powerful about being... Let me actually read the scripture. So I'm going to read the scripture. Um, Psalms 133 verses 1 and 3. And they say, Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. So I read 1 and 3. Um, and there is just something... Um, one of the um, ministers I listened to, what's his name? Um, Apostle Joshua Selman, 
Um, and he says, God has, okay, I'll kind of butcher this, but he says something along the line of God blesses you through, yeah? God has commanded a blessing through people, for people. Like God will give something to you through somebody. Like nothing just drops from heaven. Like for example, you're waiting on God for money for something. Like that money won't come from heaven. Yes, there have been situations where people are like, I just found money like um, in my bank account. I've never known where it comes from. But those are very few exceptions in very specific scenarios. Even with that, usually it involves another person. Like God usually blesses people through people. And so no matter what you're waiting on God for, whether it's um, a spouse, then even more so, it's you're waiting on a human, which means you have to be around humans to actually find this human. Or you're, if you're waiting on, is it weird when I call people humans? I love doing that. <laughs> but, oh, maybe you're waiting on God for a scholarship. And you would, you would be surprised how many people got scholarships because they're just going to church and somebody that they were serving with was like, hey, by the way, you, you said you're looking for a scholarship or you, you wanted to go for your master's. Here's a link. Um, like you would be amazed by how many, how, how many times like God uses the people around you to bless you. So as you wait on God, one of the postures that you can be in is actually the posture of being around the right people. Not to mention just joyful joy mm, I don't know, english is failing me but not to mention just the fulfillment the contentment the satisfaction the joy that comes from um being around community being around people who genuinely love you and you can genuinely just be your crazy self around where you are loved and you love these people and in good seasons like this and on days like this we can meet up and hang out not to say that we're perfect every day like <laughs> what i'm not gonna tell you is what's imperfect about us because maybe i have a few of them um every once in a while and we can talk about like um the the Actually, wait, the vlog afterwards, I think there's a day we're hanging out and we talk about um, the downsides of like being a part of a very huge group. But um, point is, be intentional about community. I've heard so many people say like, I, I want to be involved in church. I want to start going to church again. But you know, church can be dramatic. Like, I kid you not, like I've had so many people say that to me. And I keep saying the same thing that I read somewhere. I think I was just scrolling past Instagram and they're just saying... There's dramatic people everywhere. There is people going through stuff everywhere. You, the likelihood of you getting hurt is just there. And there's one of my very close people likes to say, well, I don't want it to be church people because then I won't want to go to church. And I'm like, but you can't escape it. It's the way that the Lord has commanded a blessing. There's a, there's a blessing that has been commanded just for us being part of community. And so we can't escape God's order and then accept expect God's blessings, which means if you keep yourself out of community or if you're not intentional about forming Christian friendships, um, if you're not intentional about being vulnerable with your some of your Christian friends, for example, our community is a very big group. So definitely not every single one of us knows everything about each other, but definitely within the group that all is like small close friendships. Like if you guys watch the vlogs, then you can probably tell among the people like who are my closest. Like it's very easy to tell through the vlogs. But the point is be intentional about having Christian friendships, be intentional about um, having the right community, pray about it, discern when seasons change, um, where you should be. God has come, like I can't even begin to tell you guys how many things have come of me just being in Christian community. Like not only this one, even before over the years, it's just, it's been amazing. The Christian walk was never meant to be a walk alone or a loner work, walk. So I hope um, you enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, I hope you smiled. I hope you laughed. And I hope you choose to look for community. When you do, please leave a comment either on another vlog or on the IG DMs. Come through and be like, you know what? I did go out to church. You know what? I did um, actually try to talk to somebody new in church yesterday um, because that is why I make this video so that we can all inspire and encourage each other in this christian walk thank you so much for watching i love you guys um enjoy the other videos and i will see you in my next i will give you all of my praise no one can love me better and i could sit with you for days i could sit with you forever i will give you all of my praise no one can love me better